Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Yolanda Alonso. Uh, it's a very Spanish name, but I'm actually French. <laughs> Um, so, I would like to first thank uh, Carolina Lopez, the organizer of Animac, for having uh, invited me. I'm very uh, pleased and honored to be uh, here with you this afternoon. And I would also like to thank uh, Alex Navarro uh, from Creative Europe uh, Media Desk in Barcelona. Uh, we have a, a special link with, uh, oops, with Catalonia. Uh, as uh, Alex mentioned earlier, we organized a cartoon forum in Girona a few years ago. We also organize a, a, a conference on, on business in Catalonia. Mm -hmm. And we are now, for the second year running, organizing another event that I will tell you more about uh, later on. It's called Cartoon 360. Uh, perhaps I should have also started uh, by asking you, how many, do you all understand English? Yes? Si. Ah. <laughs> Super. Okay. Okay. Um, it was easier for me. Uh, this is very, uh, be because I've written the PowerPoint in English uh, to, to speak in English directly. Yeah? But when you ask questions, I can reply to you in Spanish if you prefer. Not, not in Catalan, I'm sorry, I don't speak Catalan. Yeah? So uh, who are we? Cartoon is the European Association of Animation Film. Uh, we started uh, um, our association about 20 years ago. Uh, so it's a long time now, when uh, media uh, started, and we are one of the lucky beneficiaries of, uh, of uh, media money. And thanks to media, I must say, uh, that uh, the uh, European audiovisual industry in general has really strengthened, yeah? and in particular the animation industry. We would not be here if it was not for, uh, for media. Yeah? And I must thank again uh, Alex for having given this mine of information that I really encourage you to, to follow uh, in your uh, route, as you are most of you young, uh, young creators and, and producers. Uh, may I ask you how many are uh, producers? And so, ah, merci. <laughs> and how many are uh, creators and, uh, and young, well, students mostly? Ah, yes, okay. All right, thank you. But that's good, Yolanda. I think it's great. Actually, we're doing that because we're building bridges for into the next generation, so it's right. Yes. Uh, we do quite a lot of work, and we try to work with, uh, with, with students and incorporate them in, in what we do. We are not so festival-oriented, yeah, but Alex covered that very much, and uh, Carolina can also give you information about all the festivals. Yeah, we are more geared towards uh, training and, and markets. So we, uh, our motto is you create and we connect. So we organize eight events every year, uh, and... I'm going to go through very briefly some of them and really present more in detail the one that I think will interest you. Uh, so we organize these networking and co-pro events. So um, we call them pitching events, but they are co-production forums. Uh, Alex mentioned briefly the Cartoon Forum, which was organized in Girona a few years back. So it's 800 and between 800 and 800 150, I think, professionals from all over Europe. Um, 80 projects uh, are, are pitched in front of uh, a crowd which is between 300 to 500 people. So uh, what these producers come and look for uh, when they attend the forum is to find financing and partners for the projects. The big advantage of the, of the forum is that in one shot, in half an hour, you have in one room all the potential partners that you could have on your project. So the forum is for series, it's very successful, we have very good results as, as it's been on for over 20 years now, I think. And uh, we created a mirror organization called the Cartoon Movie about 15 years ago, which is for the European animation films that did not exist before. And I've not brought figures here, but what I can say is that um, before the, the movie, there were five or six European films made in Europe. And since the creation of the movie, uh, the average films that are originating from Europe is around 40 every year. Between 40 and 50 an animation films are made in Europe every year. So it's a great success. So forum and movie for financing. Uh, the other events uh, we organize are also training and they are based on uh, uh, information that we provide to producers uh, mostly. 
Um, the first one is uh, an international seminar called Cartoon 360 and Cartoon Stringboard, but the first two that I would like to briefly mention are Cartoon Business and Cartoon Digital. Cartoon Business is to help producers position their business within the, the present market and see where the opportunities lie, not only in terms of financing, but also in terms of partnership. Uh, don't forget that we are now living in a global um, uh, world and that it's very important to to try and make synergies with uh, uh, sectors that are connex or uh, in connection with uh, your own sector, animation, um, by which I mean uh, toys, uh, licensing, uh, VOD platforms, and games also. Yeah? And I was hearing about the Mecal event in, in Barcelona, and I encourage you to, to go there too. Yeah? The other event is Cartoon Digital. So it's also a conference, uh, but it's really about um, creating entertainment for connected screen. Yeah? That's our, our, our motto. Yeah? So we, we have high-level speakers who attend between 20 to 25. They are European, but they also come from Canada and America. And on average, 100 people attend each uh, of these uh, two uh, training seminars. We also organize, outside of Europe this time, two other events called Cartoon Connection. Alex mentioned one earlier on. Yeah? So they are more about uh, keynotes and uh, networking through one-to-one -one meetings. So you come with a project and we arrange one-to-one uh, -one meetings between you and uh, potential partners. Yeah? So you can have between 25 to 28 meetings uh, with broadcasters, producers. You choose who, who you want to meet. And you also have keynotes uh, from, of course, people of the industry. Yeah? So on average, it's a, a little larger. Uh, it's 150 to 200 people who attend. It's mostly open for producers. You need to, to present a project as a producer. Uh, but you can come along if you are the creator of the project with the producer. And we organize one in Canada, which involves a delegation of European producers between 35 to 40. And in front of you, you can meet uh, between, let's say, 40 to 60 Canadian companies. And this year, we are opening, uh, we are trying to open again to uh, uh, South America and Latin America, Mexi Mexico in particular. We have another event called Cartoon Connection in Asia. It takes place in South Korea. It's the same concept. Uh, so how to open uh, cooperation and co-production works between between you in Europe and your counterparts in, uh, in Asia. The originality of this one is because it happens in Asia, therefore you have more than just South Korea attending. Japan is coming with a delegation, Singapore, uh, Thailand, the Philippines, China last year came with 17 uh, studios. And it's the same principle, a few keynotes and one and a half day of one-to-one -one meetings, which we arrange for you. Um, Okay, now I wanted to talk about Cartoon Frixie. Uh, we call it a pitching event for animated transmedia projects. It's in Barcelona and it's organized uh, by, by us, of course, with the support of Creative Europe Media uh, and the Generalitat de Catalunya and with the collaboration of the uh, Ayuntamiento, Barcelona City Council. It will take place in Disney. Is this how you pronounce it? Disney Hub? Disney? Yeah, design. Design. Design Hub in uh, Barcelona. And the dates are the 30th of May to uh, the 1st of June. Uh, please look at the bottom. It's very interesting if you are a student because you, you may have or may not have uh, or not a project to, to submit, yeah? but if you are a student uh, and uh, uh, in concert with the Generalitat de Catalunya, we've decided to grant a special prize a discount fee, very important to students so that they can attend. So it's 25 euros for students in attendance. Uh, you need to register uh, online. Yeah? Uh, I believe that uh, you all have... They were uh, upstairs as you came in. And uh, all the registration, the, really the details about the event is here. But I would like still to, to tell you a bit more about, um, about it. So it will be our third edition here in uh, Barcelona. We expect to have 24 projects and uh, 180 participants. The originality uh, is that, um, of this concept is that producers and creators come along with a project which has a cross-media approach. 
It can be an animation uh, series, uh, but it can be a film, it can be uh, a short film in some, in some cases. Uh, it can be a game, a, a web series. But the important thing is that it must have ramifications and it must be developed on two further platforms. Um, you come and pitch for 20 minutes, the transmedia aspect of your project, and in front of you, you have a panel of five experts. In total, it's 25, but for you, you will be allocated uh, five experts to your project, and they will each of them look into the aspect that is most relevant to their uh, expertise and help you to further the, the, the project. I will go perhaps, yes. Um, so they will help you to improve the content, as I said, uh, in creative, financial, and distribution also. So uh, the, the experts come from broadcasting, game, e-publishing, they come from the finance world, from marketing, digital publishing, digital distribution, VOD, toy and licensing, web and interactive writing, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, Merceus here presented in Barcelona last year uh, from, from Tomalistas. She's, okay, so she was there at Cartoon Twix and she can tell you a bit more about it yeah, as, as a producer. Uh, so the two and a half day event uh, is um, divided into two parts. Yeah? So it's mostly pitching sessions with an interactive discussion, as I said, and informative sessions, but it's only three because we want to give more room for, for projects. So to be eligible, uh, you have to be a, a producer coming from Europe and wanting to develop your animation uh, property into a brand in the cross-media uh, uh, field. And of course, uh, you must be coming with expectations, yeah? advice that you need or on, on different parts of your, of your project. And fluency in English is required because you have to pitch in English uh, and there's no translation. The projects, as I mentioned earlier very briefly, can come from a lot of entry points. Uh, so there can be um, animation purely or um, film, game, web, book, etc at a stage where uh, you can present two uh, other developments on distinct uh, platforms. Uh, we uh, launched a call for projects about two weeks ago. We've already received a few projects. Um, but please remember that if you want to submit uh, your project online, you can do so. It's online, it's very easy to do. We are not asking for too many uh, documents, but you have to be able to, to fill in what, what is required. And the 23rd of March is the closing date. On the 13th of, of April, you will know if your project has been selected because we can only take, as I said, between 22 to 24. And then I've written down the registration deadlines. Yeah? As I said, if you are not uh, going to submit a, a cross-media project, it's interesting for you, if you are in Catalonia, to come to the event and register online. It's cheap and it's very uh, informative. And we hope you can do it because you will be able also to connect with the digital stakeholders. Barcelona is very active, especially in the month of, uh, of uh, June. It's called Digital June. So this is one of the events where we try to connect you with uh, uh, digital stakeholders. We are organizing this also with uh, Jordi Selias at the head of the uh, uh, ISEC. And there will be a visit of the cluster with the video game companies. Huh? Uh, now, the other event, Cartoon Springboard, who, um, which is now for uh, young talents and students like you, or having finished their studies, is this one. It's Cartoon Springboard. I think I've seen um, two young ladies who attended last November in Halle, so they are here. Same thing. If you want to uh, ask them questions about what it has um, uh, um, brought to, to them, yeah, you, you can do so. We had our first edition last year, so we had 24 projects, 14 experts and 100 participants. Uh, here our objective is slightly different. It is really to help young talents like, like you to meet the industry and to, um, to get uh, guidance and advice as to what you should do next to make your project better fitted for the market as it is. Um, so you can be producers, but I think that in Halle last year, there were mostly uh, artists and young, young creators. 
and only a few projects had producers, yeah? So, okay. It's a new platform for young talents who have graduated recently, um, five years or, or earlier. They can come and pitch and test, therefore, their, uh, their project in front of a panel. The panel is three people. It can be a broadcaster, um, a, a transmedia specialist, if this is what uh, uh, your project involves, or a distribution uh, person or a marketing uh, person, professional. Uh, and the idea is, for you, as I said, to help you grow your, your project and increase its quality so that you can then present it to either the cartoon forum or the cartoon movie or the markets, yeah, and there are not only the firm and the, and the movie as, uh, uh, as markets, of course. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the nice thing about this event is that there are also producers uh, who attend the event, and they, they come also and they scout for, for talents. And I think that in Halle last year, for instance, an Italian uh, lady who pitched a uh, feature film yeah, was approached by, by at least three producers, and. Uh, she concluded the financing of her project at the end of the event, so it's also very interesting. Yeah? The uh, event is uh, two days and a half, mostly pitching sessions, but again, very precise uh, market information given uh, by professionals. Last year, for example, we had uh, a presentation on the producer's role, the other one was the broadcaster's role, and the other one was what the market needs, and this is what Morgan is going to touch upon later on, uh, after I've uh, finish, uh, finished my, my speech. Yeah. So uh, the advice you get is this, what, how mature is your project and what you need to, to make it more mature for, for the market. And if it's adapted to, to the needs of broadcasters, yeah, this is very important if you do a TV series that you know what the editorial line of the broadcasters is and all the requests of, uh, of distributors. What are the strengths and weaknesses of your project and what you need to improve? We want really to give you a better chance, or at least give a better chance your project to, to exist and to be presented in, in markets, as I said. Yeah. Eligible applicants are young European talents in animation, as I said, young graduates. Um, eligible projects, um, TV specials, TV series, animation film, or uh, uh, cross-media projects. Up. There's to remember the closing date, the event is in November, so the closing date for the submission of project is uh, September the 2nd, and uh, on the 12th of September we decide who can, who can come and pitch. We've done a fee also for young talents uh, to attend, when, uh, if you come and pitch a project it's 200 euros, that includes uh, the dinners, lunches and the hotel nights. You, um, just need to cover your flight, and then it's 200 euros, as I said. Yeah. Okay, so I think I've finished. Uh, I'm here until the end of the, of the day. If you uh, want to have more information about the two events, maybe more about Springboard, don't hesitate to contact me. I will try tomorrow uh, and uh, to see you and locate the stands of the different animation schools that are present. And uh, voilà, my, I've, I've finished, so all right, thank you. Gracias, Yolanda. Um, yo de todo lo que ha explicado la Yolanda, creo que todo es aprovechable, pero si hay una cosa que es muy aprovechable, es la última iniciativa. Primera, para la promo de que vingueu a la Cartoon 360, a un preu molt en la cual la Generalitat del Departamento de Cultura colabora, pero sobre todo la última iniciativa de Cartoon Springboard, porque es el sal que os, que os, pot, os pot anar bé veient en la audiencia. Per tant, si hay una cosa súper, súper, es esta. Y ahora sí, yo no me voy de aquí, cambiaré los nombres, porque um, voy a dar la bienvenida a, ya lo he pero la Morgan Fabené, que mai sé si tengo que decir la C, porque el mundo francés es... Uh, bueno, como el mundo inglés, azafata de Iberia, arribo en arribo, por tanto... He de decir la C, Fabené. Fabené, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's la, la politesse de decir la, la desnia o no. Fabené. Uh, que ella os explicará, y eso sí, aprofiteu porque yo no sé amb quin, amb quin estat esteu de lanzamiento, amb las vuestras ideas, proyectos, pero lo que os explicará es la temperatura actual de mercat en distribución a Europa, a partir del seu uh, estudio de CAS, amb el seu càrrec, directora general de Super Rights, que es la división de vendas internacional de Super Prot. Per tant, amb tots vostès, Morgan Fabenek.
Merci.